thank you all for being here today. It means a lot to me and my group that so many people showed up. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the OC for having us here today. They put a lot of time and effort into making this happen, so uh, thank you. My name is Sean Kaplan, and uh, my teammate is Omar Contreras. I sit right here in the front row. And uh, we're here representing Niagara College, Niagara Research, and Czech Fluid Incorporated. Our presentation today outlines the analysis of oil samples with laser induced breakdown spectroscopy. So, the main objective of this project is to create a device for testing impurities in oil samples in the industry that can be done on site rather than taking the oil samples to a laboratory. When you take the oil samples to a laboratory to be analyzed, they take a lot of time out of the actual machinery's uh, use. So they can be taken up to two weeks, maybe even three weeks to analyze these oil samples. But what we're doing is we're making a device to do it on site in real time. The device will be accurate, portable, and user friendly to the operator. This is all done, once again, with the photonics technique, laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, or LIBS. I'm going to refer to it as LIBS for the remainder of the presentation. And if you require some background information on LIBS, please see me after. I'd be happy to give you a little bit of a one-on-one, -on -one and we can talk about it in some detail. But for now, we don't really have enough time to explain it, so uh, let's move on. The laser, there's actually two project uh, main parts in this project. There's a laser, which serves as the excitation source in the LIBS process. Then there's the spectrometer, which is on the analysis side of the loops process. Now, within these two main parts, there's some really key components which make our project special. The first component is the diffraction grating. A lot of spectrometers have diffraction gratings, and uh, the diffraction grating just splits the broadband light, or white light, into its individual wavelength components. And uh, our diffraction grating is unique since uh, it generates a high resolution across a much wider range of wavelengths. This wide range means a more accurate reading since more emission lines will actually be detected per impurity, just making it confirm that uh, that's the impurity we're looking at. Okay, so uh, this project is constantly moving forward and, uh, through experiments and design updates, and it's really evolving on a high level. You know, we're really excited about that. The spectrometer actually is uh, almost complete. Uh, Jeff White's been working on that for uh, the last two years or so. He's here with us today. So thank you, Jeff. And uh, he'll be commercially available in the near future as its own product or with the whole Nibs product. So Niagara Research has a pr strong partnership with Czech Fluid, working together for about three years now. Meetings were held uh, regularly, weekly, actually, uh, between Niagara Research and Czech Fluid to discuss project goals and accomplishments for the previous week, just to keep the project moving forward. Uh, the main success, I'd say, is the spectrometer, like I said before, which uh, Jeff Wakes worked on, and uh, we're really excited about that. I'm currently working on the laser for the LIBS process, and uh, we're making some pro uh, great progress with the ablations, which are necessary for LIBS experiments. So some potential opportunities. The final LIBS product will uh, identify impurities uh, in the oil on site, like I said before, and it'll predict uh, system failures really before they happen. So if you, uh, if you consi consider maybe a uh, piece of mining equipment. This, uh, what's going on inside this engine is once the oil starts to wear down, parts will wear against each other, and once that actually happens, uh, some of these parts will, some of the fragments will come off and appear in the oil samples. So when we're analyzing these oil samples, you'll see these little fragments, and uh, that's what we're actually identifying. So we know, uh, we can track it back to the source and see what needs to be fixed and when the oil needs to be changed. And uh, this project can also be modified in the future to conduct absorption spectroscopy and Raman spectroscopy. But uh, one of the most important points to this project is that our LIBS, will, uh, our LIBS device will also be integrated into other applications, not just the oil sample analysis, that's what we're concentrating on now, but it can be used in uh, soil analysis, for example, for farmers or geologists. And uh, our research team, as I said, it was myself, Sean Gapple, Omar Contreras, and another man who can't be here today, uh, Ahmad Jadun. And uh, we feel that, as a team, we've developed a certain amount of skills that we probably couldn't have acquired without this project. The first being uh, problem solving skills. When dealing with research, there's a ton of problems that actually come up, and uh, there's only one way to solve them, is that collective thinking, you know, collective teamwork uh, brainstorming, right? So I think uh, that was fantastic. Uh, communication skills, I remember mentioning that we met weekly for communication updates, and uh, that was also really valuable too. So I'd like to thank uh, the OC for this wonderful opportunity. For myself being here today, I'm very excited. And I'd like to thank Niagara College for the facilities they've provided for us for our project. We couldn't have done the project without these facilities, it's very important. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Czech Fluid and Mike Hall.
Thanks, guys. Where to go from there. So I think that, that was pretty valuable. 